when I interview people, when I tell their stories, I'm looking for that moment, good or bad, where their life makes some sort of memorable change. My name is Mike Knight. I am 60 years old. My wife, Michelle, and I have been married since uh, April 19th, 1986. Christmas of 1994, Michelle and I took a 10-day trip to Jamaica. My right hand was tingling. And so I went to see the doctor and she said, if it went away, not to worry about it. I started having double vision I may have lost a few games in tennis because I couldn't hit the right ball, but uh, it, it really didn't, it wasn't disturbing, I guess. Then my right eye started to bulge. We started to do a bunch of really comprehensive tests. That was 98, 99. I was told I did not have MS. Over the July 4th holiday, we had a party here, a small little get together. You know, I wanted to get up to give everybody a hug and say goodbye. And when I went to do that, my right leg just would not work. I mean, nothing. And that, <laughs> that was, that was a, it's, it's just a strange thing when your body literally stops working. I was the director of communications at Central Indiana Community Foundation when, when I was uh, diagnosed in 2013 and then uh, left there in April of 2016 for long-term disability, which is, which is where I'm at now. And somehow you have to explain that to other people and somehow you have to live with it, period. I continue to, to write a handful of projects each year, but it just is really hard to do. It is a disease of the central nervous system and autoimmune system, so it's super complicated. And it has to do with the body's autoimmune system thinking that there, there is an invasion going on and it attacks. It makes lesions, scars, multiple scars, sclerosis in your nerves so the, the brain signal and nerves don't work together anymore. And it wreaks havoc with every single movement you try and make. The very, very worst part of it to me is the sort of damage that it does on the relationships around you. I can't get in and out of the shower by myself. I can't cut my food. The person that she married is, is sort of physically disappearing. That's the worst part of it, knowing that she's gonna uh, wanna hang in there no matter what. So she has MS too. My tendency is always to think, oh, I can still do that. Uh, I can hold this glass. Nope. I can make this step. Nope. So you constantly are, are trying to figure out whether you're the old you trying to do something uh, or whether you're smart enough to accept you're just not the old you. MS is this thing that keeps painting you into ever smaller corners. And it does it all day, every day. You realize, okay, well, you have to find the beauty in the corner that you have. I've watched the pandemic and COVID happen, and I've watched people struggle being locked up. And, and I appreciate that struggle. I found you, you rebound into this place of, okay, cool, this stuff could go away at any minute. While it hasn't gone, I better enjoy it. So that's been a huge positive. I should have 
I wish I would have been that way for all of my life instead of just after, you know, all this stuff started happening. It was awful. <laughs> Michelle and I have laughed together for our whole relationship. We still make each other just laugh until we cry sometimes, which is awesome. <laughs>